NASA has officially confirmed the existence of a tenth planet lurking at the outer edges of our solar system. This newly discovered planet is no ordinary find. It eclipses even the size of Pluto, once considered the ninth planet. So, come along as we explore the implications of this monumental find, delving into the mysteries that surround the newest addition to our planetary family. Before we delve in, be sure to subscribe for more updates and hit the like button. Also, make sure to stay tuned till the end because we have an intriguing revelation coming your way. Around the world, numerous human eyes and a few telescopes are constantly observing space to enhance our understanding of the universe. This pursuit of a unified understanding is funded annually with hundreds of millions of dollars, leading to valuable discoveries and revelations. This crucial work is supported by hundreds of satellites and spacecraft traveling through space at incredible speeds, aiding in our comprehension of the universe. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, established on July 29, 1958, is an independent agency of the US federal government responsible for civil space programs, aeronautics research and space research. Recently, NASA confirmed the discovery of a tenth planet, larger than Pluto. Astronomers named this object 2003UB313, placing it about three times farther from the Sun than Pluto. Mike Brown of Caltech announced this discovery, highlighting its round shape and potential size, possibly twice that of Pluto. This newfound object's unique positioning inclined at 45 degree to the solar system's main plane, made its detection challenging until now. Some astronomers consider it a Kuiper Belt object rather than a planet. The Kuiper Belt is a region of frozen objects beyond Neptune. Brown, who had advocated for Pluto's demotion from planet status in the past, shifted his stance, suggesting that anything larger than Pluto and farther out could be considered a planet. NASA, in an official statement, endorsed the idea of UB313 as the 10th planet. This endorsement followed NASA's thorough study of the object using the Hubble Space Telescope. Contrary to previous ground-based observations, Hubble revealed that the 10th planet, nicknamed Xena, is only slightly larger than Pluto, challenging earlier estimates of a 30% size difference. The diameter of Xena, measured by Hubble in December 2005, is approximately 1,490 miles, with Pluto's diameter measured at 1,422 miles. A recent report from Brown's research team indicates that, among telescopes, only Hubble possesses the capability to accurately measure the diameter of Xena situated roughly 10 billion miles away. Although Xena's size is smaller than initially estimated, its brightness suggests significant reflectivity, possibly attributed to a layer of fresh methane frost on its surface or the continual release of methane gas from its warmer interior. Officially designated as UB313, Xena has an orbital period of about 560 years and is currently near Aelion, its farthest point from the Sun, the Kuiper Belt, an extensive collection of icy comets and larger bodies, encircling Neptune's orbit hosts Xena and other recently discovered objects, comparable in size to Pluto. This discovery complicates the ongoing discourse on categorizing these icy worlds within the Kuiper Belt as planets. Brian Murren from the Minor Planet Center suggests that if Pluto sets the minimum size standard for a planet, Xena would meet this criterion. However, Alan Boss, a planet formation theorist, advocates for a cautious approach, emphasizing the need for a comprehensive definition of what qualifies as a planet. The International Astronomical Union is actively engaged in debating this definition, yet no consensus has emerged after six months of discussions. 
This prolonged debate stems from the historical lack of a clear definition for the term planet and has been ongoing for over five years. Alan Stern, leading NASA's New Horizons mission to Pluto, expresses satisfaction with the discovery of Xena, aligning with predictions made in the 1990s about the existence of numerous Pluto-sized objects in the outer solar system. Despite Stern's optimism, he refrains from labeling Xena as one of the greatest astronomical discoveries, considering it one among many findings of objects in this size range. The exploration of the outer solar system persists, revealing previously unknown objects as technological advancements enable astronomers to delve deeper into this unexplored realm. The recently discovered planet, Xena, is located approximately 997 astronomical units away from the Sun. An astronomical unit is the distance between the Sun and Earth. Xena is now the farthest known object in the solar system and the third brightest among the Kuiper Belt objects. It is colder than Pluto and not an ideal place to be. The discovery was made using the Samuel Oshin telescope at Palomar Observatory. The research team had initially intended to analyze the data thoroughly before announcing the planet. However, they were compelled to do so prematurely due to a security concern. Someone was attempting to hack their website and make the data public. Xena was first photographed on October 31, 2003 with the 48-inch Samuel Oshin telescope. Despite being so distant that its motion was not initially detected, the data was reanalyzed months later, revealing its presence. Scientists spent the subsequent seven months studying the planet to estimate its size and motions. Determining the size of such objects involves assessing their brightness and distance. While the reflectiveness of Xena is unknown, Initial diameter estimates ranged from one to two times the size of Pluto. Brown, one of the discoverers, emphasized uncertainty about the final size, but expressed 100% confidence that Xena is the first object larger than Pluto found in the outer solar system. The upper size limit is constrained by data from the Spitzer Space Telescope, which records infrared light. As Spitzer couldn't detect Xena, its overall diameter must be less than Pluto's. This discovery prompts reconsideration of the definition of a planet, which has evolved over time. The International Astronomical Union defines a planet as an object orbiting the Sun, having sufficient mass to be round, not being a satellite or moon of another object, and having clear debris from its orbital neighborhood. The IAU introduced the classification of a dwarf planet for objects meeting planetary criteria except for not clearing orbital debris. The reclassification of Pluto as a dwarf planet sparked controversy, with some scientists challenging this after the New Horizons spacecraft provided detailed observations in 2015. Alan Stern a member of the New Horizons team expressed amazement at the scientific findings and public interest in exploring Pluto. Despite differing opinions on Pluto's classification, the discoveries and ongoing exploration continue to shape our understanding of the solar system. The term planet comes from the Greek word for wanderer. Many ancient cultures observed these moving stars, but it wasn't until the 1600s with the invention of the telescope that astronomers could study them in more detail. Small telescopes revealed moons circling Jupiter, surprising Galileo Galilei considered the likely discoverer. Telescopes also showed rings around Saturn, an ice cap on Mars, and objects not known to ancient civilizations due to their distance and size. Uranus was found in 1781 by astronomer William Herschel and Ceres, discovered between Mars and Jupiter in 1801, was initially classified as a planet but later recognized as the first asteroid. 
Neptune was discovered in 1846. Astronomers searched for a hypothetical planet X, causing disturbances in Uranus and Neptune's orbits. Although no large planet was found, Clyde Tombaugh discovered Pluto in 1930, a relatively small object with a highly eccentric orbit. For over two generations, no objects similar in size to Pluto were found in the solar system, until the discovery of Eris, or UB313, which changed the understanding of distant celestial bodies. Following the discovery, Brown and his team found several large, icy bodies beyond Neptune's orbit. While this wasn't surprising, the sheer number of these objects drew attention. Subsequently, the International Astronomical Union spent two years examining the evidence and, in 2006, convened a meeting to vote on the definition of a planet. The delegates excluded Pluto, Eris, and similar-sized objects, introducing the term dwarf planet for round objects smaller than Mercury. The IAU has recognized only five dwarf planets so far, Pluto, Eris, Makemake, Haumea, and Ceres. However, there may be as many as 200 dwarf planets in the Kuiper Belt, including Quawa, Sedna, Orcus, and Selatia. Due to their distant location and small size, further observations are needed to confirm their status. Despite the IAU's decision, some scientists still refer to Pluto as a planet. NASA's New Horizons mission to Pluto in 2015 provided new data, leading to debates about its planetary status. Similarly, the Dawn mission to the dwarf planet Ceres unveiled intriguing features. Ongoing searches in the outer solar system include the quest for Planet 9, a theoretical super-Earth that could be influencing objects in the Kuiper Belt. If confirmed, Planet 9 would challenge our understanding of the solar system. Despite ongoing debates, these discoveries benefit the general public, sparking interest and discussions about our cosmic neighborhood. So, spacers, what do we think? Share your thoughts in the comments below, leave us a thumbs up if you liked this video, and please share. Don't forget to subscribe and turn your notifications on to stay updated on new and awesome space content. Thank you for spacing out with us and see you next video.